Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update. If you're watching this during the premiere, hey, uh, I hope you guys are doing awesome today. If you would have liked to have watching, been watching this in the premiere and you're watching it in the future, be sure to sign up for our newsletter on our website, backtoearthcreations.com, because we send out a notification email every time we have a new video or our shop's updated or anything like that. Um, that way you don't have to rely on YouTube for notifications. And also we give first notification to our Craft Along Club members as soon as we get the shop update live. Sometimes it happens on Sunday night. Sometimes it's in the wee hours of Monday morning. Um, but our Craft Along Club gets first notification because y'all make our world go round. So thank you guys so much uh, for that as well. Uh, to thank all of y'all for participating in our shop updates and our giveaways, we want to announce our uh, this week's giveaway winner is Carolina S. Congratulations, Carolina. If you could send us an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com, then we'll get your cab kit, your craft along kit, which is um, like a cab box. It's our $10 craft along kit <laughs> on our membership site. Um, we'll get that sent right off to wherever you'd like for us to ship it to. So we don't have everything that's going to be in the shop update on this uh, in this video uh, because at the time of recording I'm kind of like shuffling a few things around but my moons aren't all cast yet but I do want to show you the ones that we do have cast and if you're interested in seeing more be sure to pop on over to our website because we have them over there at the time of recording we are making a bunch of moons because this upcoming Friday if you're watching this and like on what day would it be the 26th this friday we are having our super duper craft along a -thon, and i'm going to be wire wrapping up a bunch of moons kind of like how we've done in the past with groovy cabs and different things like that but this week we're wrapping moons so let me know down in the comments what colors of moons you would like to see in this friday's super duper craft along a -thon. <laughs> so i'm very excited it, like I like all these colors, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This one is my favorite color in the whole wide world right now. Like so much. It's this duo chrome, like green purple shifty. It's it's life. I love it. But then we also have these wicked cool. They don't look like much just sitting in the tray, but whenever you get the light hitting them, these holographic moons are pretty awesome too. And then we've got some really nice copper, some that are just like kind of plain silver. Like, this one doesn't have much of a holographic going on. Now, where's the one? There's one in here. Is it this guy? Let's see. Yes. That is duochrome and a little holographic. But it's not picking up on the camera. It does with my eyeballs. <laughs> but not on the camera. But it's got a little speckling of holographic through it, too. I was having, doing some experimentation. But, uh, but, yeah, so those are some of our moons that we have up on our website. There are links down to everything in the video description. So if you want to see the moons, there's a link that'll take you straight to our moons. If you want to see our dicro, straight to the dicro. If you want to see all the cabs, there's a link for that too. So yep, down in the video description. Ooh, okay, so here, let me see if we can, I was kind of trying something different and I've decided I'm not digging it. Um, <laughs> so, Speech that over that way. Okay. We have a bunch of new dichro because I have been really feeling this black aventurine base with um, just a full rainbow of dichro randomly put through it because I just love the effect that it gets. Now, all of the glass that we have is a 96 COE. And all of the cabs that are suitable for being grooved have that option. So if you wanted to be able to wire wrap along with us in our uh, recent and upcoming groovy cab tutorials. Ooh, I love the light cutting through this one too. Let me see. I'm going to fiddle with the camera just a bit to get a little bit better. Y'all don't need to see my coffee. You need to see the cabs. Super high quality professional video, I know. Now, ones like this one, we don't offer the option to have it grooved. Um, but if you guys would like to groove set these, like if you want us to start putting that option on there, uh, just let us know because we just thought that since it already has like a hole in it, that people wouldn't want it grooved. But 
I dare not presume what's in your crafty heart. So uh, more of these reaction caps I think look like super cute little eggs, you guys. I know it's past Easter and whatnot, but I I'm into eggs all year round. So, And I'm kind of thinking if I'd be able to find like a cream base with like maybe a terracotta, not a terracotta brown, but like a pale walnut maybe, um, we could make quail eggs, like little glass quail eggs. I think that would be so cute. And then, ooh, I like this guy. Let's see if we can see into the depths of this one. A little bit. A little bit. Ooh, I also really like, ah, die crow! We've had really light die crow uh, in our past couple of uploads because I've been sending them all out to our craft along club. But we finally got caught up on fulfillment with our craft along club. So uh, we were running super behind because, okay, <laughs> story time. When it rains, it pours, y'all. Our groove machine, like, we broke our last bit. And we had ordered more, but they hadn't arrived. And so we were waiting for, like, four days. And then the machine broke down. And I had to, like, learn how to be a mechanic this week um, for small engines uh, on that thing. It's really just a rotary motor, but we got it touched up and it's okay now. Um, but then, also... We had just finished the guest room because we have a friend coming and staying with us. And also Maddie's going to be coming and spending the summer with us again this year. And um, we decided it was time to make that bedroom not look like the portal to the upside down um, and try to get it tidied up. So the literal second, you guys, I'm not exaggerating. We finished up, did the last touch on the guest room with the trim and like we had put in the new ceiling and everything. We had replastered the walls, come downstairs, we sit down. The plumber shows up because we have a leaky kitchen sink and I don't know anything about plumbing. I'm just a homeowner who's like desperately trying to not drown in homeowner crap. Um, and the plumber shows up and he's like, this is dangerous, y'all, and won't even do anything. Like he won't get under the sink because it is a cast iron sink that is collapsing through our countertop. And that's why it's forcing everything to leak is because the weight of it on the plumbing is like... So we got to fix it because it's about to just wreck our world. And he quotes us, y'all, okay, I'm going to tell you guys real quick because I didn't know, I, I was like, that's a big number. But we talked to some of our friends who are like, you know, have done plumbing or, you know, were plumbers at one point in their construction career. He quoted us $750 to which at first I was like oh okay that must like include the sink and like no we would have to buy the sink we would have to buy the faucet we would have to replace the countertop and the 750 would be for the like the strainer baskets like the sink drain and then like the the you know compression nut um piping for underneath for like like the p what is it an s pipe or j pipe we had we use a p pipe $750. Randy and I did that part for like 40 bucks. Um, so I learned how to plumb this week as, and thank goodness for our good friend who came over and helped us, um, rip the counter, the old countertop out and rough in the new one. Cause like the, the old countertop was just kind of like sitting there. Like, I don't even know. Like if you, if you guys are interested in more about that, you Check it out over on the Vonster vlog if I ever get the video edited because it's just like, <sighs> I have about one home renovation project, like big non-garden project. If it's not gardening or crafting, I have one big project in me every six months, not back to back in two weeks. Um, but yeah, it's all taken care of now though. And y'all, I finally feel like a proper, you know, Baba Yaga kitchen witch gremlin in my in my like new corner of the kitchen it's really basically the same except for a few key components but I'm very happy and excited and cannot wait to start concocting some casseroles and potions and stuff <laughs> in my kitchen um but yeah so it, that's really nice and it's really nice that it's I don't have to turn the water on and off every time I want to you know, do dishes or fill up a pot of water or something. These die crow, y'all. Like, I love that one. That duo tone. Woo. Um, but yeah, so I've been kind of run, run ragged a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited to be getting back to crafting. 
yeah, so the groovy machine wasn't working, so we couldn't fulfill the craft along kits because everybody's getting a groovy cap this month and we couldn't fulfill orders because a lot of y'all had requested to have grooves added so we are finally caught up with that and now we are able to bring what's left to y'all for the shop update now this guy's got a little pokey bit on the top but that's fine and sometimes on our dichro pieces the dichro like that dichroic effect is actually a metal that's like um on the glass and sometimes it floats to the surface and if we were to grind that off not only would we have like a little ugly patch from where the glass needed to be polished um but it would just remove it entirely i love the sides of these ones because they look like a little kind of landscape um but yeah so that's that's normal and that's why we do these videos too is because we want to show you guys everything that's going on with that so also um, pertaining to live streaming in the upcoming months, um, we will be resuming our Saturday Craft Along Club exclusive live streams um, to kind of ease back into it and to be able to give all of y'all who have questions and stuff and you know, want like kind of one-on-one -on -one attention with your projects if you need any help with anything, um, we're there for you on Saturday and that way you can email us pictures of your projects and we can like talk to you kind of face to face it's not quite a zoom meeting but our internet does not support zoom very well like it's if you think our live streams are choppy and pixelated <laughs> uh trying doing it through a laptop's webcam plus all the pixelation and lag um but i think we're just gonna keep for time being like nothing's Nothing with us, I'm sure any of y'all who followed us for any period of time, no, nothing is ever permanently set in stone. We are a river here, not a mountain. Um, we are constantly changing and evolving and things are, you know, just morphing into what they'll be. Um, so we will not be having our Tuesday live streams, um, at least for the month of May. We're really hoping, we, we were not anticipating these kitchen repairs, um, so we had hoped to be able to get a new phone um, between Randy and I to be able to like, because that's what we record on, <clears throat> and also what we live stream on. Pardon, just a sec. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, I don't mean to be coughing in y'all's ear. But, um, but yeah, so that really set that back. Oof. So here we are hustling some cabs. I really like this one. What were we talking about? But, but yeah, so so we have the premieres where it is a pre-recorded video, but currently, this is past Vaughn. Hey, I'm past Vaughn. Future Vaughn, or for you who's watching this in the premiere, present Vaughn, is actually, I don't know, well, maybe it's over on that side of the screen, um, is talking with you live in the live chat. So, hey, everybody from past Vaughn. But, uh, and it's just, and we also have Randy moderating and chatting over there as well. And that way we're able to not just present the information that we wanted to present in our tutorials and shop updates and videos, but we're able to uh, hopefully be able to catch and address every single question over in the chat. And that way we can help you all out with that. But yeah, so that's one of the trays. This is just some more, <laughs> I just like looking at rocks and chatting with you guys. <laughs> And then we have a whole nother tray of dichro. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick little sweep over of these. Guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I try to be quick, but y'all, I love it. The colors in this one remind me. I've never been, but I would love to go to National, um, not National Geographic, Yellowstone National Park. Um, but I've seen the pictures and like video and stuff on the National Geographic channel. Um, and the colors here remind me so much of those pools of like the, um, the, the water with the high mineral contents. It's like very acidic and very hot and like, I don't know, it just, it reminds me of that. And I'm very fascinated by that and very ignorant about it. And I'd like to learn more, but we also have some translucent bright cherry red dichros, which I really like. Randy really liked those ones too. Ooh, I want to show you guys this guy. Because, again, Randy goes through and picks out our cabs and gets them into the trays for me. So I'm going through and being like, what did he pick? What did he pick? <laughs> and so, oh, my gosh. And also, I just load the kilt sometimes. A lot of the times, actually, Randy 
poor man. He deserves, I'd say a raise, but he deserves to get paid at least. <laughs> he loads the kiln. He unloads the kiln. Um, he washes the calves. He loads them into the stuff. Now, I do do our, <laughs> do do. Um, I do load the kiln whenever it's um, our frit molds and stuff. Because he's like, I don't have a steady enough hand for that. I think he does, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and like and stuff so a lot of the times even if I see the glass going in oh and I also prep like the sheet casts for making our uh mold not our molds but like making our melts um but a lot of the times I won't see it till it's come out until we're putting it up into the shop or putting it into a kit um so it, this is a lot of fun for me getting to see what's been made and also Randy curates our labradorite and he has exquisite taste now we have not been able to keep our labradorite in stock and we've had a few folks complain that they're like you never have anything in stock whenever I make it to your website so um this one's actually quite plain it's got a little bit of a blue tinge through the center but I really love the matrix through I mean it's a lighter like a grayer stone but it has some really cool black matrices through there. Um, but yeah, so we have a whole tray of just labradorite for you guys. Ooh, super pretty with those flashes. This isn't even really the best angle for the flash, but... Ooh, look at that one. And all of our gemstones that, are again, are suitable to have a groove added uh, will have that option on our website. We have some interesting shapes, too, I really like. Where's your flash there, Brian? Yeah, some of these are kind of more of Fire Mountain Gems, I think. Oops, super durable. Would call it a C grade. It's where it's a very nice labradorite um, stone, but it doesn't have much of a flash. We have a couple of those in here. But again, I still think it's beautiful. And then we have some that varying degrees of subtlety that one's a little bit more subtle this one's a little less subtle <laughs> and we try to be very representative of this not just in our pricing of the stones but in the pictures as well we don't photoshop any of our cabs we don't use a filter in any of our pictures or video um we don't oil our cabs or anything to try to make them look shinier than what they are or anything like that now this guy ooh. Let's flip them around. Sometimes you've got to experiment until you find the best face. Wow, I love the layers of flash in this one. But that's just a sampling of some of the different labs that we have. Because I think I rambled quite a bit and I don't want the video to go on for too long. But I do also want to show y'all, here we have some more labradorites as well as we've restocked on our amethysts. Now on some of these, like this one, it's a little thin. I don't think I'll be going through. This one would not be a candidate for grooving. But I love the purple. Just because uh, we kind of use our own discretion if we think it might be treacherous to the stone to go through and groove it, um, then we just won't put it up as an option because we don't want to risk breaking the stone. Now, if ever that does happen, oh my gosh, y'all, look at the flash on that. Wow. Oh my goodness. No, what were you saying? Um, like, let's say you got this one and you wanted a groove added and it is a good candidate. It's got... It's nice and thick, consistent all the way around. But if we were going through and grooving and it breaks, um, we go like we send you an email or we do like a note or something, and we still send you the original cab that you purchased that's grooved but broken. But we also groove and send you a freebie as well. Um, just because we, we can't tell the future, we don't know if something's going to work out and mistakes, uh, do happen. Accidents do happen. Um, so if ever you guys have any problems or questions or anything like that with your order, please, please, please contact us because we can't make it right if we don't know that it went wrong. So, and we really want to make y'all happy because y'all make us so happy. And these rocks make me happy. Look at you little guy. You're so cute. 
Ooh, and then these tiger's eye. Look at that one, y'all. This is a really nice tiger iron, which is tiger's eye with a naturally occurring hematite banded through it. And I think that is just the coolest looking. So pretty. And then here we actually have some tiger iron that is predominantly hematite with some little bands, just a couple little flashes of tiger's eye in there, but also some red jasper. So pretty. Did you already look at this one? Nope. Look at how pretty that guy is. <laughs> but yeah, so this is this is what we have for in our shop update. And I wanted to let you guys know again about our super duper craft along a thon happening this oh wow. Happening this Friday. Oh so nice. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, um, we'll be streaming, I think, starting at like five and we'll have more information about that upcoming, but be sure to sign up for our newsletter because that way we can send you the notifications directly to your email as well as we have a newsletter ex exclusive coupon and we also have a craft along club exclusive coupon, which is our beefiest coupon that we offer. Um, so for as little as a dollar a month, you can get first dibs on our shop updates in a super juicy 20% off uh, coupon to our shop, as well as our Saturday streams and whatnot. So uh, links for all of that stuff are down below. If you would like to participate in our giveaway, be sure to leave a comment uh, down in the video description, and we will pick a winner from that using the random comment picker uh, before next week's shop update. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with us. I hope you have an amazing day. And happy crafting, y'all. Bye. <laughs>